Hey guys, today I am going to talk about a message I got from on Facebook. And it tells me that there are free stores around him. It's a local person. I believe they live in North Houston from the stores that they mentioned. Uh, they're all closing uh, and they're all closing within a very short period of time. Now, one of them um, is maybe temporarily closed. Maybe they're moving to a new location. But the other two, um, they're having their grand closing. And at the end of the day, it's never uh, good to see. Um, I think in terms of game stores, uh, I can go ahead and tell you uh, my own version of it. And why it was so difficult to run a game store. A, it takes a lot of time. Um, it takes a lot, a lot, a lot of time. Um, and B, uh, in addition to taking so much time, you're not really making all that much money. And why you don't make money is even if you do very well, uh, you are being paid in actual con and not content, not an exposure. That's an artist. Uh, you are being paid basically in inventory. So you never get cash because everything has to be reinvested in inventory. I know a lot of people would say, oh, the game store didn't have a cafe. I'm going to show you three different game stores all in North Houston, all about to close or have having closed and maybe they reopen. Um, these are game stores with good reputations. These are game stores that have a good community. There's nothing wrong with these game stores, in my opinion. Uh, one of them, the relocating one, uh, might, I think maybe they have too much of uh, too much space and the rent might be too high. So if they move to a cheaper place, hopefully they can be successful. But the reason I closed my game store, and I'm you know going to tell you this, was because I got a girlfriend. And when I originally got a girlfriend, we I was still running my store. It was a lot of time. And she really loves to travel. Um, Las Vegas, uh, cruise Miami. Miami is next. So Miami plus a cruise and then spending some time in Miami itself. Uh, there is a $200 buffet in Miami that she is contemplating per person, by the way. It's not obviously a couple buffet. And it looks good, but it's $200, so it's a lot. Um, when you talk about game stores and owning the game store, Unless you can find really good employees, which is really hard to do. You'd be surprised how many people try to steal from you. You'd be surprised how many people really don't care much about you or your employees or, or your game um, store. You'd be surprised. It would be crazy to me that... Um, it's crazy to me to think about the game store is something that is going to make you a lot of money. Um, it's not. It is not something meant to make you a lot of money. It's something meant that you you um, you put your heart, you put your soul into it. It's an experience and it's something that you love to do. And, and that's it. That is it. Uh, it's something that you love and you're doing it not for the money, but because you love owning a game store. It's a uh, passion and everyone and everyone's grandmother from Alpha Investments to Amazon, they're trying to run you out of business. You know, there's how many YouTubers promote their local game store and or tell them, hey, go to your local game store, don't buy online. Very few of uh, every every youtuber. I know that's bigger is sponsored by a online store like card kingdom to community college or in particular, maybe they have their own patreon system to sell boxes and I've always said you only have so much disposable income if you decide um, If uh, you decide to buy a box from Alpha Investments or buy a case or whatever, you're deciding not to spend that money at your local game store. 
Uh, same if you decide to buy Amazon. So then people turn around and they're shocked. Oh, my local game store is in trouble. How could that be? Well, it's because you were too busy blanking blank, you know, alpha investments, right? Like, you're the reason these places closed, and now you are um, upset that it closed. Well, what do you think was going to happen, right? If you spent all your disposable income and everyone you know is spending their disposable income on um, Patreons and, God forbid, whatever else they're buying you know, online, then you're the, your poor store that is trying to make ends meet and will absolutely need to charge more money because it has overhead. Right, these other vendor Alpha Investment doesn't have the overhead. Maybe a warehouse, no employees, I believe. So my decision was: a Could I see a future where this thing could actually make money? No. So my girlfriend is a math and finance major, and so she sat me down and we crunched numbers, and and it just became like, you know, there would be have to be too many things going right. For a game store to make any sense at all. And there's too many things that could go wrong. And too many risky things that would then just bankrupt the store. Or or make it unfeasible for me to continue. So one, the store. like And people don't talk about when you own a store. You don't take a vacation. You just cannot. If you don't have reliable employees. And I went to the mall the other day. Dareburg and Willowbrook Mall. I went to two different malls to check out anime stores. See how they're doing. And it, they're doing poorly. Those business will be out of business in no time. They don't have the community. I mean, God bless the game store owners, right? No one no one going to say this. I say support your local game store. No other YouTuber will say this. because they're promo- I turn down sponsorships all the time. So I can say whatever I want to say. Right? There's this like small, you know, like even like a small channel of like a thousand subscribers that be sponsored by some game store online. <laughs> now, after that, dude, like support your local game support like this dude. Right? Um, like, I don't know. I don't know when the culture got so bad. No, I, again, I. <laughs> I, I do know when, but it sounds like crazy and even cringe when I say it. But I think when Alpha Investments did its Patreon thing, and this was before Amazon dumped and Amazon really just copied him, um, that was the end of the game store. That really put a lot of pressure in the game store in pr- terms of price. The, what, $89 a box, right, with the $15 membership thing? Now you're competing. How can you compete $89 a box? It costs you $89 to buy the box from a distributor. And now people are going to buy from him, a popular YouTube celebrity, instead of you, your local game store. And they're going to take the cards and open. They, they will open the packs at your store. That's how sick it is, in my personal opinion. They will open the packs they got from Rudy at your store. 